Hello world, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Dr. Nikrishnan. Today we are going to learn what is the use of templates in UiPath Studio Web. So first of all, let me go to Studio Web. So this is a continuation of a Studio Web series. So first let me click on Studio Web. Okay. So those who have used Studio Web should have seen these templates, right? So what is the use of template? So these are few uh, predefined uh, automation uh, use cases, okay, which we can directly use and implement in our automation. So just consider you want to trigger an email if someone is modifying a file in the uh, Google Drive, right? So <laughs> instead of uh, creating an automation from scratch, what UiPath has done is they have provided some templates that is ready made and we can easy to use right so uh, that is the purpose of template and if you want to uh, implement or if you want to upload any uh, use cases or templates you can upload that to marketplace and once it is approved it will get available in the templates okay so here uh, in this video i will show you uh, one or two sample templates and how you can easily use it in your automation how you can easily build your automation from that templates right <clears throat> so there are uh, different kinds of integration that is possible with the studio web so as you all know the integration uh, with the studio web is easy and it is very powerful as well okay so we have integration with the service now or if you want to integrate with uh, uh, azure that also you can uh, do you can create uh, virtual machines in azure using uh, this uh, templates that is available in studio web or uh, you can automate a uh, Google Drive or OneDrive. Uh, whatever things is possible, uh, you can uh, automate it using the templates itself. Okay. Or if you want to do the extend integration, that also uh, possible using the integration services, and you can readily use that in your uh, Studio Web automation. All right. So uh, there are uh, a lot of templates that are available here itself. You can see around the 24 items are there in the single page, right? And uh, you can go to the next page also. You can see Slack integration is there, uh, and Asana uh, integration is there. So, like this, uh, different integrations are available, and uh, around uh, three pages. So, uh, around 75 uh, automations are available uh, in the templates that are available in Studio Web. So, you can uh, go to these templates and you can understand what are these uh, templates, and you can readily use in your automation purpose. Okay, so here you can see it is integrating with Amazon Web Service as well. So all these kind of uh, integrations are readily available. What you have to do is you just need to uh, update the details that is relevant for, uh, with your uh, automation applications and you can use in your automation, right? And here you can see onboard employees through Azure Active uh, Directory. So let me go to the first page and uh, let me show you uh, any of the two templates that can help you uh, and uh, which will give you understanding like how, how you can use these templates okay mm. so here you can see right uh, uh, one very simple example effect the first uh, thousand gmail emails from the current month in a uh, new google sheet report so the purpose is very simple like it will open up the uh, gmail then it will extract the thousand uh, uh, emails from the gmail and it will write uh, these details to a google sheet okay so that is this automation and here you can see what are the application it has used it has used google drive then gmail and uh, google sheet okay so this many integrations are there in this automation and this works like a manual run right all these uh, things are uh, uh, available here in the <coughs> main uh, main page itself so let me open up this and what is here okay new project from template so let me click on this okay here uh, by default it is uh, uh, giving my uh, gmail account if uh, if you haven't uh, uh, configured your uh, drive means it will ask you to make a connection okay then you can click on add connect and you can make the connection to your google drive so here i am going to use my uh, gmail account then let me choose the folder where i want to uh, add the file in the google drive right so let me click on this folder button let me click on this right let me go to your path okay let it create here in your path folder right <coughs> so this is a google drive 
and uh, uh, Google Sheets, okay. Then uh, Gmail, let it be. What is the folder we have to use? Inbox, right? So, what are the things we have selected? A Google Drive. Inside this Google Drive only, we are going to keep the Google Sheet. So, what is the data that we are going to keep in Google Sheet? The email details that we are going to get from Gmail, right? So, let's click on Use Template. Okay, here we can see it has created a uh, automation, right? Using the template, uh, what of things we just provided? We just provided the uh, connection to my Google Drive, then I provided the folder, right? And uh, in the next thing, I just uh, choose the file, and uh, in the next Gmail, I just provided the account details, right? And the uh, inbox. So that's it, and it has created a automation for you, right? Here you can see we are going to use manual trigger and here you can see it is creating a spreadsheet right spreadsheet in uh, google drive it is going to create here you can see my uh, gmail account and here you can see the folder that we provided and uh, what it is going to do it is going to create a uh, data table okay data table from the test and what should be the input uh, we are going to give it like a receive data subject from CC body and attachment. So this many columns we are going to create in the uh, Excel sheet, and uh, <coughs> parser method will be uh, CSV okay, comma separated value, and then it has to be written to a um, Excel sheet or to the Google sheet, right? Then here you can see destination spreadsheet is create a spreadsheet. It will create a new spreadsheet, and uh, this should be the path and range uh, email uh, report. And this will be the sheet name, okay. And it will include the header. And if there is any data, it will directly uh, overwrite it. And what is the data? Generate data uh, table from test. So this is the data we are uh, we are getting here, right? So this will be the output. What is the output? Okay, here you can see generate data uh, table from text. So this data it is going to write here, right? Then what is the next task? Uh, once the headers are written, then next task is like it has to loop through each email, right? It has to read a thousand email, and uh, so let me do one thing: options instead of a uh, uh, thousand, let me keep it a uh, hundred, okay? Because a thousand it will take uh, uh, some more time, so I just keep it like thousand. If you want to loop through subfolders, you can enable this. So I just keep it like a false and. Uh, unread mail only if you want to read means you can keep it true i just keep it like false and with attachment only if you want to read means you can keep it true i just keep it like false and uh, this is uh purely based on the priority and only you can uh, make the modification and if you want some additional filter that also you can set okay so once it uh, <coughs> read the email okay so it will uh, loop through each of this thing and uh, here you can see it will give this output right so this output let me go here okay it is going to join okay it is going to uh, join the details then to this particular uh, variable okay then we have to add data row okay so here you can see this is the data table now so it will add the data to this particular uh, uh, data table so this data table is nothing but uh, we are creating in this stage right in this first stage we are creating a data table so it will uh, write the data to this particular data table sorry to this particular data table then what is next once it is done it has to write to the excel sheet right or to the uh, spreadsheet so let me do one thing let me execute this and uh, let's see the output okay here you can see the execution is happening just started a building project and the agent is initializing and transferring project. Here you can see the tick mark. So it has started the automation process. Okay, so it has created this spreadsheet. Let me go here. Here you can see a new file has created email zone. Let me go here. <coughs> okay. So Okay, I think the automation yes, strategy succeeded, so the automation is completed. So what are the things it has happened? It uh, built the project, then agent has initialized, the transfer in the project, then project build, project transfer, then restore in the packages, package restore, 
and it has started the uh, 100 email, not 1000, uh, 100 email it has started and written to the uh, Google Sheet. Okay, so let me open this file. <coughs> okay, so here you can see it has uh, retrieved received data subject from CC body and attachment. So if you want to extract some other data, you can modify this starkly based on your requirement. Okay. Uh, so this is how you can use the template and you can modify uh, the values based on your requirement. So let me go back here and uh, let us try to understand the one more template. Let me go to template and uh, mm, okay. Check that out. Uh, let me take something in the when a file is added to Google Drive folder. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. So this is again very simple use case. Uh, it is a combination of Google Drive and uh, Gmail. So just consider <coughs> as an automation process, if someone is going to add a file to your Google Drive, right? Then it has to send a Gmail or send a email to your Gmail. Okay, then you can use this automation. So just consider if someone is going to add a file to your uh, Google Drive and you have to send an email using that attachment to uh, some particular DL, right? So in this kind of uh, situation, you can use this template for creating the automation. So what is the location? Um, let me do one thing. Let me give the folder access. Okay. What is the folder? Let me give it like UI path. Okay. Then Gmail use template. Okay, it has created the automation. <coughs> set email uh, address, set value. So let me view my email address. Okay, so this is the email address. Then send email to this particular ID and to enumerable repeat email address. Okay, so this is the email address that I have provided. So it will take that uh, email address. Okay, then sample to okay to the path. <coughs> so let us uh, try to execute. Package is restored. Okay, so now I should have received an email. So let me. <coughs> okay, so here you can see uh, it has added the uh, a file in the particular Google Drive and uh, it sent an email. Right? So, same like this, if you are uh, uh, setting this trigger means like whenever if you are adding a file to this Google Drive, it will automatically send an email to my Gmail. Okay, so this is how this automation is going to uh, work. So here uh, the trigger is like a <coughs> annual trigger, right? So if you want to uh, make it an event based, you can set as an event based trigger. Okay, so I hope you understood like how you can use the template which is providing by UIPA. If there is any confusion, please do mention in the uh, comment session i can help you okay so thanks for watching the video uh, please do subscribe and like the video thank you